So, what are you into at the moment? I've got a secret hamster, I keep it up in my loft. My wife thinks I'm up there trying to fix a leak in the roof but, I'm up there feeding it, giving it a weak lap. No one knows. I'm reconnecting with myself after a breakup, picking up old hobbies, reaching out to friends I've distanced myself from, redecorating my room, coming to terms I miss the memories, not the ex. Life is good. Edit, whoa, thanks for the gold. I have been binge watching Kitchen Nightmares UK version. It is so much better than the US version. No beeping of the cuss words, the rillers in the soundtrack and owners who actually listen to Gordon Ramsay instead of fighting him on every small issue. Right now? About halfway into this flashlight. Well, Mazel Tov, then. Room escapes. I've done 31 now, and have had a great time at 30 of them. Maybe I should text my friends and suggest we do another, it's been nearly two weeks since our last room. Board games. Have been buying them every chance I get and playing them almost every day of the week. Reading wedding horror stories on Reddit. I can't believe how many crazy things happen at weddings and the ones I go to are so boring. Same thing I'm always into. Trying to take over the world. Minimalism. I'm trying to get rid of the things in my house, life that I don't need. It's kind of hard, but I'm doing a little at a time. Part of that has been to unfollow things on Instagram slash Twitter that don't really reflect who I am as a person, too. It's awesome. Finally got round to watching Parks and Rec. Currently in season 6 and it's now a firm favorite. World building. Pretty fun hobby that I'm enjoying at the moment. Black Mirror on Netflix. Future Armor. It's my winter break and I've just been binging on it. Judge Judy and Tetris. I'm gonna get a job soon lol. Learning to play the guitar recently inherited it and would love to learn. Building and flying FPV racing quadcopters. Damned. Just started Ming a few months ago. Old school runescape. It was a mistake, but a welcome one. I just went out and impulsively brought two sketchbooks, acrylic paint and watercolors, two sets of paint brushes and canvases. I've never had any artistic talent in my life but I guess I'll try. Witcher 3 and exercising, although W3 tries to sabotage the latter from time to time. My Nintendo Switch, I bought myself one for Christmas and I have been having a blast been playing so much Zelda and Rocket League the past few weeks and I look forward to trying out many more titles. The Way of Kings. First fantasy novel for me. A guy. He really liked me at the start but I feel like it's wearing off cause we haven't seen each other since. It's such a shame cause I really like him. It's so hard to know what to say. I wish I could just ask him if he actually likes me, but I don't know him well enough to ask. I basically get more into him the more ambiguous the situation becomes. Just straight up ask him to go get dinner or join you for coffee one night. This is 2018, you should feel totally proud for making a move. Yeah. Most guys will appreciate it and those that don't because of inflated notions of machismo aren't exactly catches you'd want anyway. My health. I'm 6 foot, and was around 230 to 235. I had my 29th birthday in November and played DDR. Friend took my photo and sent it to me, and holy shit I was fat. That week I decided to cut back on eating and drinking sugar, eventually cutting out dairy too. This was likely causing me a ton of stomach problems. Then I decided, frick it, 
go vegan. So I've been vegan for roughly 8 weeks. I've lost about 30 pounds and hope to lose another 20 or 30. I've never felt so good and determined in my life. Edit, if you're struggling through your diet, feel free to reach out to me on PM. Was into a girl until I found out she died during the winter holiday. She was just 20 years old. Fascinated with my Soze hole. Brooklyn 99. Been watching through the first season and I freaking love it so far. I can watch shows like Always Sunny and not laugh out loud the whole way through, still enjoy it, but with 99 there are always at least 5 moments I will laugh out loud. I love each and every one of the characters, especially Holt, his neutral expression for everything is absolutely hilarious. PUBG. At first I thought this game looks terrible and then a guy I have a giant raging crush on suggested it and I'm hooked. How can a game so buggy be so delightful?